This is an informal video, and to make this faster, there will be no intro. This is an analysis that is all from my perspective documenting my experiences with joystick sensitivity. To start off this analysis, I will have to note that this sensitivity is insanely fast for any top tier players coming in at a whopping 12-12 horizontal and vertical, and an 83 ADS sensitivity on 400 DPI. Most players don't run such a high sense, as it is very grueling and difficult to become accurate with, and a lower sensitivity provides more precision. Yet Joystick is an absolute robot as you can tell by how he's performed in professional play. Why is this? It's because you can be as accurate on a high sensitivity as a low sensitivity. If you can operate as efficiently on a high sensitivity as you can on a low one, then there's no question about it, you have to run the high one. This cycles into my next point as to why you run the high sensitivity. It's due to the high range of comfort Joystick gets to experience while playing. There are no limits, nothing. His degree of comfort is 360 degrees. He doesn't have to worry about positioning himself around his sensitivity. He just has to worry about other players making him a clutch master, and in my opinion, the most efficient fragger I've ever seen when he's on his game. Having a high sensitivity allows you to be more fluid in your gameplay with no limits as to your positioning and ways that you can take conflicts. But rat rat rat, Joystick hasn't been performing well recently. This leads me into my other side of a high sensitivity, the negative. Like I mentioned previously, a low sensitivity provides players precision and therefore, in my opinion, much more consistency. This explanation I'm cycling into is going to be a bit complex, but just keep with me. I promise you'll find this information wildly useful, so let's get started. On a high sense, small micro adjustments are crucial to master because you can't make as many of them and you can't be as precise. DPI makes your mouse move X pixels across your screen. The lower your DPI, the more pixels your mouse can precisely move to. On a higher DPI, your mouse moves V pixels across your screen. The higher the DPI, the less pixels your mouse can precisely move to. This means that X, your lower DPI, covers a greater amount of pixels precisely than V, your higher DPI. Why are you going into an explanation this obvious, Rat? It's because you need to realize these basic facts to understand the bigger picture. Joystick has less opportunities to precisely hit ahead because his DPI covers less pixels precisely. This means that when the cerebellum, the part of the brain that handles hand-eye coordination, eventually logs this is what we'd call muscle memory and Joystick's brain isn't as attentive when it comes to these micro-adjustments, mistakes are amplified in his case because of his higher sensitivity, meaning it spirals into more mistakes, essentially chaos theory. You might hear all of this and go, well fuck, a higher sensitivity is bad, I'm just going to become bad with it after using it for a long time. That is not the case. There is a way to counteract this, but I do not believe Joystick is actively trying to fix it and therefore is falling off as a player. You can see this fix and how to truly find your perfect sensitivity where I go into the brain and dissect how it processes your sensitivity, what to focus on, and how to narrow down your settings slash sensitivity in another video in about two weeks from now. If you're watching after two weeks, there will be a link on screen now, so be on the lookout for that video. Now, after going into that long explanation, what were my impressions of the sensitivity? I loved it. It gave me so much more freedom than other sensitivities had, and I felt much more confident after a couple days of using this to make ballsy plays, and was definitely winning more of my conflicts overall. In far range conflicts, however, I felt a bit lacking and like I couldn't adjust properly to hit my shots. This is just from a playing perspective. I think my far range conflict success rate remained about the same, but it's important to note how you feel on a sensitivity, not just the results, as this can change the way you play in terms of how confident you are taking a fight. For example, because I feel like I can't take long-range conflicts, I might play too passive in a long-range conflict and not get the kills I need, even if my KD stays the same. Statistics don't define anyone, and you have to look at the playstyle as well. Something else I thought worthy of a note was sometimes in short-range conflicts, I would completely blunder because of his graphic settings. He runs 4383, and at some points I wasn't able to spot enemies just because they weren't in my view. Graphics are all select to the player, but for me, I would prefer running 4388, 89, or 90, especially if I'm going to entry and need my FOV increased. I very highly recommend playing on a sensitivity like joysticks, although it doesn't have to be as exact settings. If you're great with a high sensitivity, use a high sensitivity. I hope you enjoyed this light analysis, and here are some of my nutty clips I've gotten over the past week. There aren't any big edits, just cuts to keep the flow of the video. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. this shit should just not be happening. Bruh. Bruh. The 
The Blackbeard's only fucking job is to watch that, and he just goes off fucking out. The Blackbeard's over. Sure, room work. He's gonna die in a second. Y'all are going to hell. Bruh! I was That's just getting lie. the AK recoil, and he ran right into that. Like, I literally fired like seven bullets. What are you doing, that. bro? I, I, was, I just unlocked this fucking ace, dude. Oh no, bro, not flip. Yo, flip it, dude. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm <crazy. laughs> That worked. What are you doing? I ran out. Oh, oh my god. Me? And you killed me? <laughs> Crap. Did you shoot at you and she kills me? It's unlucky. Uh, you Mike shows behind the throne. Bang him and run after him. There you go. He's off site, so you can plant. I'm planting, I'm planting. Cover my dragon door. The nice. mirror shot for the win. The 48. Genius. God. Legend. That was some gameplay. Nah. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you what happened. The mirror shot. That was the only one. I'm using intelligent ball. Should we kick? If we beat them, let's uh, bring in Nomad in case they go back up to That looks like I'm shooting. Is he freaking out? Shut up. No. I don't chat on that. Yeah, but for you, I'm just gonna fucking go yellow real quick. I'm gonna throw a drone in. Oh my god! So bad. They're both in projector still, I think. They're both projector? Oh my god, he ran into the map. I'm hopping in. Oh! 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 <laughs> You're nuts? I'm so glad I got a So. Okay, nice. Nice, bro. You're better? Oh, oh I, I keep trying to Watch talk to them in bro. game. He just got shit on. Oh Damn. my god, dude! Oh my god! Does my family even care? I don't know, but I will pull on my bitch's hair. Please just fucking love me. You know that I'm not that queer. You know I've got all these bitches far and near. If I do indeed need to prove myself, I will suck a dick. What?